Hey DVC fan, Paul and Amy, and we are coming to you this morning from Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House because we're hungry and wanted some breakfast. Right, and it's really early, but <laughs> super hungry. Uh, we're at Boma and getting ready to dig into the buffet, and they just gave us some pog juice, which I've almost drank all mine, but. And also, if you're coming to Animal Kingdom Lodge anytime soon, they do have a new animal out on the savannah. I knew that was coming. I should have been ready for that one, right? How are you? The pod juice is delicious. Man. We've got Jeff. Hey, everybody. Jeff and Panda are joining us here this morning as well. And Mandy. We weren't sure if Mandy actually wanted to say hi or not. So there was a there was a quick little. Do you want to? Maybe. <laughs> uh, so Mandy's here as well. So we are here at Boma. We're gonna enjoy some breakfast, share with you our thoughts. We've all done dinner at Boma time or time again, oh, yes. but I think breakfast is kind of that one that you don't know. Should you skip it? Should you do it? Do they have any specialty African inspired kind of meals or options and things like that? So we're going to enjoy breakfast. As always, if you love our content here on DVC Fan, this is brought to you by the world of DVC. DVC resale market if you're looking to the world of DVC <laughs> the world of DVC <laughs> I'm not I'm taking you guys out before noon okay. from now on <laughs> DVC resale market where if you're looking to buy or sell a Disney vacation club contract they can help you Monera financial they'll be able to help you with that contract purchase and <laughs> The DVC rental store, where you can try before you buy, rent some points, rent out your own points. Uh, we're off on a wild uh, adventure already here. This is actually being filmed on the day that we're oh, doing. Today is Panda's birthday. Today is Panda's birthday. I don't think I've had one no, full through logical thought yet. There's not been, not been anything. We have a new thing, Jeff. Ready? Let's show them. It's the world of DVC. <laughs> <laughs> the bird really talks up. Like it really does. Wow. Well, uh, if you've enjoyed this intro, you should stick around for the rest of the uh, video because I'm sure it's going to be just as enjoyable. Is that a song? Is there a DVC song? <laughs> Here, okay. Hey. Is that DVC? Is that it? Yes. No, is that, that's like an official. That, that's oh, it. That's it? That's yeah. our song. Yeah. Oh, no, there's an <laughs> official welcome home thing. I gotta find it. It's pretty good, actually. They refilled my pog juice already. <laughs> oh wow! That was a quick that refill. Like <laughs> We're having breakfast. We're gonna have some fun. Come along for the ride. get in line for the buffet and we've now returned that that's our table right there and we're now at the end of the buffet line get it right back where we started from <laughs> so we've gotten to the front of the buffet finally uh first off look at the flames going on back here just some uh, amazing beef ribs and stuff some of that might be going for dinner for later but the first couple stations here throughout the buffet this is going to be where you find a lot of the african inspired dishes that are featured on the menu. And then as you kind of work your way down, you'll get to your traditional eggs, Mickey waffles, and that kind of stuff.
apparently I'm not talking enough because I just devoured my first plate here. Uh, this, this selection here for breakfast is awesome because it's a nice, well-rounded selection of options. So you've got, you know, the African-inspired dishes up front. You've got your traditional eggs, pancakes, all that kind of stuff, and then sweets and stuff near the end. So it's really, there's something here for everyone. If you want to be creative and try something, you can do so. Or if you just want to just sort of stay plain and true to whatever you love for breakfast, you can do that as well. And I think that's one of the reasons I love Boma so much. So my first plate, I went I went pretty traditional. Those that know me, I am, I am me and Panda, traditional eggs, bacon, uh, an African dish. We call this a pancake. No, I just went with pancakes and eggs and syrup and ham so but it was delicious i mean this place is awesome i've never eaten here for breakfast been here for dinner a few times i'm gonna be full like it's really really good still since covid i feel like things aren't completely back but i feel the opposite with this place the array that's up there is pretty impressive to me i mean yeah like they said you can get all your regular you know eggs bacon omelets things like that but then there's african things that aren't too crazy that you might want to try but i can't believe I just thought they would pull back a lot. The whole thing is open, and it's not like it's the same stuff here and it's the same stuff there. The whole spread is different. It's pretty good stuff. And it's delicious. Have you eaten anything? Yes, I've been I've been eating this whole time. So I love Boma. I like dinner a little bit better because I love the corn chowder, and I like dipping the chicken tenders from the kids uh, section into the mustard. But they also have the mustard for breakfast. It's excellent with the tater tots, with the ham. I also, I had to ask the server how to pronounce Bo Bodhi. Yeah. I got it right. I kept trying to call it Bobody and some other things. Uh, I like the Bo Bodhi. I had some of the plantains. Those were good. So I like some of the specialty stuff. They're not doing made to order omelets anymore. They're doing pre-made omelets. So you have different options. I kind of like that better because you don't have to wait. And I like a nice Western omelet anyway. So it's Western ham and cheese or just cheese. Uh, so awesome selection. Can't go wrong with eggs, ham, the mustard, croissants, babodi, whatever you want. So Jeff is a very picky eater. He's got the palate of a kindergartner, but we are gonna make him try. Wait, do you mean picky eater as in he picked everything that was up there? No. Because that, because he's picking everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what it is about Amy, but she makes me try crap all the time. <laughs> like the snails. Yeah, the snails, okay. I don't know. Okay, we're hoping this goes better than the snails. So this is the teriyaki chipotle mustard. Yes, it's teriyaki mustard and chocolate. Okay, and it is delicious. I think that I could drink it by the gallon. So we are gonna make Jeff, who doesn't like mustard, try it with his tater tot. <laughs> I think he's gonna like it. I'm All right. I doubt about it. I'm not gonna lie. It's not, it's not as mustardy as you might think. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I wouldn't like probably get it a lot, but I wouldn't take it off my plate either. So we'll call that a win. All right, we finally have a win. <laughs> Snails were a loss, but we are one out of one. <laughs> one out of two, I don't know. It's math, math is hard. <laughs> math, math is hard. Thank you. That was on 25 today. Anybody who has room for a chocolate cupcake? You already I'm said. The Maryland Monroe thing. Happy birthday. <laughs> With a wig. Yes. <laughs> Mr. President. This was the worst rendition of Happy Birthday ever. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as Happy Birthday. It's your birthday. That was Mickey Mouse. Happy, happy birthday to I remember because I was like, why did Mickey Mouse change this song? <laughs> but being a child, and getting to Disney and hearing on the speaker that Mickey Mouse turns like 45, I was probably like six years old. And I was like, I wanted to be friends with Mickey. And when I realized it was like the age of my dad, 
I was like, what is wrong? Why does he, Dad, why is he an old man? Very strange. Okay, final thoughts. So this is my first time at this resort and my first time at Boma, and it was really good. And I wasn't sure about the African dishes and whether or not I'd like them, but I tried them and they actually ended up being my favorite. So two thumbs up for me. Yeah, my final thoughts, this place is awesome. Like this is probably ranking in my top three for breakfast. And that's a, that's a hard thing to do because I have my favorite breakfast. So I tried a few things that are outside my comfort zone. Amy's mean and jabs me if I don't. Um, but no, I 10 out of 10, it was really good food. I'm happy. I honestly don't know how someone could come here and not be satisfied. I just, it would blow my mind if you came and said, no, I didn't find anything I like. Everything's here. I agree with Jeff, one of my top three. Topolino's being like my top breakfast, but that's character breakfast. This would be my best buffet breakfast. And everything's real. The eggs here, unlike a few places, absolutely real. Good stuff. Pricing for today's breakfast came in around $37 a person, which I think is very reasonable for a non-character breakfast that's a buffet. So that's that's extremely reasonable. Uh, I agree with what Panda said about the eggs also. They had a like an African scramble that had some feta cheese, tomato, all kinds of good stuff in it. That was just very refreshing. Nice to just play up with the traditional scramble eggs a little bit but everything that we ate, there was also a seasonal bread pudding that was a pumpkin bread pudding. I believe it's seasonal, uh, being that it's pumpkin. But, you know, overall, just a great breakfast experience here. Thoughts for you? I always love Boma. I love all the dining here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I love how when you sit down, they give you the pog juice, uh, you know, coffee, whatever you need. Such a good variety. It's usually very crazy here. I feel like it's, it's, gotten, it's very calm right now. It's not too bad. Uh, it's usually very busy because people really like it, but overall, definitely great for families, especially if you have a lot of different palates. Uh, it's a great place to come for breakfast or dinner. Yep. So add Boma to the list for the next uh, trip you're down here for a Disney vacation called Vacation. That's going to do it for us this morning. If you do love this content, please hit that thumbs up button, like this video, subscribe to our DVC Fan YouTube channel. Also, we've got some golden nuggets from this breakfast review that'll be going up over on the DVC Fan Patreon. So patreon.com slash DVC Fan and join in the conversation over at DVCFan.com and the DVC Facebook group. We'll see you next time.